Hello fourth graders. Today we are gonna be working on our Veterans Day project. We wanna be very neat with this project so we will be using a ruler. To begin, we are going to draw a rectangle in the top left-hand corner of our paper because we are making a flag for this project and we want to have the blue part of our flag in the top left-hand corner. The size of your rectangle isn't so important. It is just important to make sure that you are being a neat artist throughout this project. So next, we are going to draw some lines um, to help our flag look like it is waving in the air. So I'm gonna first extend my line down from my rectangle. And then next, I'm gonna slant my ruler so that it's skinnier on the bottom and wider on the top and I'm going to create an angled line. Then I am going to turn my ruler the other direction so that it's opposite. Now it's skinnier at the top and wider at the bottom. I'm gonna repeat this, I think, one more time so that it's skinnier at the bottom and wider at the top. Now I'm gonna give you a little time to pause your video so that you can catch up and rewind your video if you need to and make sure that you are all on the same step as me. For this next part of my video, I slowed it down so that you can see what I'm doing. We are gonna to try to make lines in our paper to make it look like our flag is waving in the air. So to start, we are going to um, draw a curved line curving up in the first section after our blue square or after the square for our stars. In the second section, it's going to curve down. The third section, it curves back up. And the last section, it curves down again. It's just like a wavy line, but we're making sure that it curves within each section. So it curves up in the first section, down in the next one, up again, and down to complete the rest of the paper. That's one stripe. We are going to work on adding multiple stripes into our flag. You are not required to make 13 stripes like there are on the American flag. You can make however many fit. The most important thing is that you are being a very neat artist. Okay, for my next stripe, I have another section that I need to add in. So I'm going to try to repeat the same curvy line that I started with, and then I'm gonna go back to my first section, and I need to make it kind of curve downward. I made it curve down and then up since it is a large section. You can make it however you want as long as your line still looks like a wavy line going from section to section. continue to create your curvy lines until you get to the bottom of your paper and all of your stripes are completed. Let's talk about the coloring portion of our project now. We will be using colored pencils to finish our coloring. There are silver colored pencil sharpeners in your table bucket that you can use to sharpen your colored pencils. We are going to start in the first section that we started with our curved line. And I'm gonna begin by pushing hard on my colored pencil to make a dark red color. So I start by pushing hard on the outside of each of those sections. And then I start filling in a little chunk of my section with like dark red colored pencil. 
you can see the direction of my lines is going the same direction as um, what the curved line was so I'm making my lines of my colored pencil follow the same line that my pencil took next I'm going to start pushing a little bit lighter so now I'm using medium pressure and I'm filling in two more sections of my curve lastly I'm gonna fill in the middle very light so we are trying to make it look like it's waving in the air. The outside of my section, both the outsides of my sections are dark, then it goes medium and light in the middle. I'm gonna repeat this pattern of dark, medium, light, medium, dark, in each section until my stripe of red is completed. begin to finish my section you can see how it looks like my flag is waving in the air now I move to the next stripe which is two down because we, don't forget we want to leave one section white because the American flag has red and white stripes I'm going to continue this um, pattern all the way down my paper until all of my red stripes are filled in Next, I'm going to find a blue colored pencil. Please make sure that it says blue. If it says violet, it's going to look purple. And I am going to start filling in my blue square where my stars are going to go. coloring my rectangle I decided to use a black colored pencil to create my stars you do not need to make 50 stars we just want to be sure that we are being neat artists if you would rather do blue stars that's okay too understanding the pattern and getting the hang of it you may continue to color your paper until it is all the way completed if you still need help please raise your hand and ask for help the very last step is to use a pencil and write your name on the back of your paper very neatly don't forget to put your paper in your teacher's box when you are all the way completed